What a cop-out! What a disappointment! So the coach did not know his captain and his deputy were hatching a plan to cheat? How about the bowlers? They must have been surprised when the ball started reverse swinging then. Even if, as expected, James Sutherland and company do the right thing on Wednesday and ban Steve Smith and David Warner for a year Australia have got this badly wrong already. There is no way Darren Lehman should have kept his job. It is the nasty, arrogant, aggressive, old-school culture of Australian cricket that needs to change and Lehman is the epitome of that. He was a major part in creating it for goodness sake after Australia had had enough of Mickey Arthur and his homework. Lehman is the architect of all that has gone wrong. The coach is the man who has allowed Smith and Warner to hurtle out of control and become such enemies of the sport. He was at the very least complicit in allowing Warner to become vice-captain in 2015 against all possible sensible judgment. It may even have been his idea. That was the moment it all started going wrong. Remember, too, that Lehman is the man who called Sri Lanka Black Sea during his playing days. He also went on radio while coach of his national side and told Australian supporters to abuse Stuart Broad until he cried. It was virtually an incitement to violence. The warning signs were there then for Australia but they ignored them. The people who should be crying now are the lovers of the game in Australia who have been so hurt and horrified about what has unraveled in the last three days that this has become one of the biggest scandals in cricket history. It says everything about Lehman that he has not resigned already. He should have fallen on his sore the moment pictures emerged of him on his walkie-talkie telling Peter Hanscom to get on the field at Newlands and tell Cameron Bancroft that he has comedic attempt at ball tampering had been rumbled. Clearly Lehman was a popular figure as a player. You only had to listen to Ryan Sidebottom's reaction on BBC Five Live after Sutherland's weak utterings to know he was extremely well regarded during his days at Yorkshire. But that was then and this is now. This was Australia's big chance and they have blown it already even if they run Smith and Warner out of town. Things won't change significantly for at least a year until Lehman's contract runs out and he will presumably walk away scot-free. They did get one thing right. Tim Payne is, according to one observer close to the situation, just about the only decent bloke in the Australian team. Unless they went outside and appointed someone like George Bailey as their Brendan McCullum figure Payne was the only viable option as the new captain. What a rise this is for Payne. It was not too long ago he was playing his cricket for Banbury in Oxfordshire and only a year ago he came close to packing it all in to go and work for Kookaburra. His surprise recall for the Ashes has now led to him being charged with sorting out this sorry mess. Good luck with that Tim. When McCullum changed the whole culture of New Zealand cricket he was assisted by a coach in Mike Hessen who sang very much from the same song sheet. Layman is just full of bum notes. Australia should have appointed Ricky Ponting as coach on Tuesday. It's a no-brainer. And if not him then Jason Gillespie or seen whether Trevor Bayliss could be coaxed away from the last 18 months of his contract with England. Instead they have paid lip service to the crisis and allowed Lehman to get away with it. Cricket Australia have failed in the first significant test of whether they are serious about cleaning up their shattered image.